Good afternoon. Today's topic is trust God no matter what. Today I'll be speaking to you out of the book of Exodus. And we'll be looking into Exodus 14, 13, 10 through 13, I'm sorry. <laughs> As the Pharaohs approached, the Israelites looked up and they were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. They said, Moses, was it because there was no graves in Egypt that you brought us out to the desert to die? What have you done by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone and let us serve the Egyptians? It would have rather been better to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. Moses answered to the people, Don't be afraid. Stand firm, and you will see the deliverance of the Lord will bring today. And the Egyptians that you see today, you will see no more. We are all living in a world, not by choice, but by force, that is now called the pandemic. We are in the midst of crisis. The whole world as a whole is in a midst of crisis. For the, first few, for the last few months, most of us have found ourselves like the children of Israel. We found ourselves in a strange land. That's where we are today. Stocks are down. Schools are in chaos. And to top it all off, people are struggling with their lives and their health, and the list goes on, and it goes on. The fact of the matter is that just because we're Christians doesn't exempt us from the challenges of life. Peter tells us, and I will read, in chapter 4, verse 12. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fury ordeal that has come on to test you as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice, much as you participate in the suffering of Christ, so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you're blessed. For the spirit of the glory, the spirit of the glory and of God rests upon you. If you suffer, it should not be as a murderer, a thief, or a criminal, or even a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but surprise and praise God that you bear his name. We all have been in that place where we feel like we're locked in and there is no way out just like the Israelites found themselves they found themselves with the terrain to the right and terrain to the left the enemy in hot pursuit behind them and the Red Sea there was only seemed to be two options either dive battle or drown swimming across We come to an end where we exhaust all human ability and all human resources and we come to a place where we're at the end of our ropes. We convince ourselves that things are never going to get better and this is when we resign ourselves to living a mediocre life. We become happy with just getting by. Well, let me tell you something. Jesus Christ did not die in Calvary on the cross for you just to get by. He did not die for you to have a black and white life. He died for you to have life and life in abundance. Here's a question for you. How many of you enjoy popcorn? It's a wonderful treat. You can decorate it with all kinds of toppings and it's just something, even at the movies, everybody eats popcorn. 
Did you know that popcorn has to go through extreme heat and pressure to become that tasty kernel that you like to eat? Well, in a similar way, God puts us through. Our faith is being tested, just like the te they, he tested the faith of the Israelites. We are being tested today. We too have to go through the fire furnace, but I'm not talking about just any furnace. I'm talking about the furnace that Peter described in Peter chapter 4, verse 12. Today, we need to embrace the Lord and trust him no matter what. There's a solution for that Red Sea that you have come up against. Just like God gave the Israelites a way out by parting the Red Sea. The thing is, do you have that type of faith? This is a time where many people will have their taste test, their faith tested, and uh, we will see ourselves whether we push or we give up. Are you willing to push? Are you willing to really serve God? Not only when he gives you everything you want and need and everything you desire, but when you're up against the wall, and as they say in the world, between a rock and a hard spot. These Egyptians, these Israelites were not being punished. They weren't out of the will of God. They were doing what they were supposed to. They were following the fire by day and the smoke by night. And the Lord was leading them to that promised land. Today we are being led into the promised land. Are you willing to pay the price to get to that promised land? Are you willing to sacrifice yourself? kill self and trust in God the word says that in front of the in front of them was the Red Sea and behind them there was an enemy in hot pursuit today your problems may be similar to the problems that the Israelites had in the Red Sea and this is where you are maybe at the moment you may feel boxed in and nothing brings relief. And no matter what you do, what you say, what you go, where you go, who you reach out to, it seems like nothing works. But there's good news. You can stay positive. And you're probably asking yourself, how is it that I can stay positive in a situation that I'm in right now? Well, you can. By first recognizing God's purpose in your life. And second, knowing that things that happen in your life are not by circumstance. They are because God allows them to happen and there's a purpose behind that. Give your trust to God no matter what you're facing today. Glorify Him, give Him glory, give Him honor. Because at the end, just like that popcorn first, you will pop and bring him glory. And this was my message to you today. Trust God. No matter what, if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I suggest you let him into your heart. One day with Christ is better than all these days you've had without him. Find yourself a good Bible-based church and study the Word of God. I'll see you next Sunday. Shalom.